Here's a short video to show you how to make sure that your blower housing and your frame are in proper alignment on your new snow throw. This will ensure that the auto turn feature performs as designed. In order to accomplish the adjustments we're suggesting in the following video, you're going to need the following tools. It's also very important to complete this project on a smooth level surface like your garage floor. The tools you're going to need is a ratchet and an extension and a half inch and 916 socket. If you don't have those tools, a half inch and a 916 wrench would work. We also need something to set the eighth inch gap between the scraper blade and the floor. Like we mentioned in this video, we use yardsticks, but you can use anything that is about eighth inch thick. First thing we're going to do is to loosen up the skid shoes and leave them completely loose. You may have noticed that the blower housing already settled into a more level position. Now we're going to loosen the bolts that hold the blower housing to the frame. We're going to loosen two bolts on each side of the machine using a ratchet and extension and a half inch socket. spin the machine around. Okay, now we're going to make sure that the frame and the housing are properly engaged to each other. It's very important that you're on a smooth, flat surface when we put this thing back into a level position. To help yourself get this right, you can put slight downward pressure onto the handlebars. That will ensure that the frame is fully engaged in the blower housing. Once you've done that, you can go back and retighten the bolts that we loosened earlier. After retightening the bolts that hold the blower housing to the frame, we want to confirm that we're all on the same plane with the frame and the blower housing. So with the skid shoes still loose, we want to lift the machine off the ground and set it back down. As you're going to notice in the video here, the scraper blade is hitting the ground at the same time all the way across. That tells us that the frame is square to the blower housing. Next, we're going to set the gap for the scraper blade, we like that to be at about an eighth of an inch. For our video purposes, we're using yard sticks, but you can use anything you've got around the house. We just want to make sure that we're using about an eighth of an inch on either end of the scraper bar. Now we're going to retighten our skid shoe. All right, so we've retightened the skid shoes, setting our eighth inch gap. Now we want to confirm that our settings are correct. We've removed the yard sticks from underneath the scraper blade. And now we want to press down on the handlebars and make sure that both sides of the blower housing are hitting the ground at the same time, which they are. 